Think a recession is bad? What's coming next could be far worse. Legendary investor Jim Rogers is sounding the alarm, warning that the global economy is teetering on the edge of a financial disaster unlike anything we've ever seen. Are you prepared for what's coming? Stick around as we dive into his latest predictions and why he's bracing for a market crash that could shake the world. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your I'm your guide on achieving your financial goals, and today we're tackling a critical issue that every investor and global citizen needs to understand what Jim Rogers believes is a looming catastrophe far worse than a recession. For those who don't know, Jim Rogers is one of the most successful investors in the world, co-founder of the Quantum Fund, and a man who predicted the 2008 financial crisis long before it hit. Now, he's warning us that something much bigger is on the horizon. In today's video, we'll break down his concerns about an overvalued stock market, a global debt crisis, and the real possibility of a currency war. Most importantly, we'll discuss what you can do to protect your investments and prepare for what's coming. So if you're serious about your financial future, make sure to watch this all the way through. To be here, yes, my name is Jim Rogers, but I don't have a job. So. <laughs> So maybe I shouldn't be here. I don't know. I know we cannot talk too much about that, but I will say to you, as far as investing is concerned in other places, at the moment, I'll use America since that's the largest stock market. The American stock market has been going up for the longest in American history. Never in American history has the economy and the stock market done so well for so long. Maybe it's going to go on forever. Washington says it will. Don't worry. But when Washington says don't worry, I worry. I worry a lot. So as far as my investments are concerned, I have sold nearly all stocks all over the world. The only places I still have shares are China, China stock market is depressed. It's one of the few stock markets in the world that's depressed. And Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is an old Soviet, whatever they call them, Soviet uh, economy, which was ruined by the Russians. Now it's changing. And so Uzbekistan may be an extremely exciting place to make money. China may be too. So other than that, I am worried about the world. I will repeat, the U.S. stock market has had no problems for the longest in American history, so I'm very, very worried. First up, Jim Rogers is sounding the alarm on what he sees as a dangerously overvalued stock market. Over the past decade, we've seen the market surge to new heights, driven by factors like low interest rates, massive stimulus packages, and a flood of speculative investments. Companies, especially in the tech sector, have seen their valuations skyrocket to levels that some argue are detached from their actual earnings or potential for long-term growth. Rogers points to the fact that we're experiencing historically high price-to-earnings (PE) ratios, with many companies being valued more on hype than on fundamentals. This, he warns, is a clear sign that we're in bubble territory. Just like in previous financial crises, when the market gets this overheated, it's only a matter of time before reality catches up. Rogers has taken drastic action in response to these risks. He sold off the majority of his stocks, particularly those in sectors he believes are most vulnerable to a crash, namely tech and speculative growth stocks. Instead, he's positioning himself defensively, holding on to cash and more stable assets that are better suited to weather a market storm. He's not alone in this thinking. Many prominent economists and market analysts have voiced similar concerns, warning that we're sitting on a bubble that could burst at any moment. They point to the massive influx of retail investors, driven by platforms like Robinhood, as fueling speculative behavior reminiscent of the dot-com bubble in the early 2000s. People are pouring money into stocks with little regard for the fundamentals, creating an unsustainable surge in valuations. The question isn't if the crash will happen it's when. According to Rogers, this correction could be far more devastating than any recession we've experienced in recent memory. He believes that the economic fallout could be more severe because of the unprecedented levels of leverage, debt, and speculative investment in the system. When the correction hits, the shockwaves could spread across global markets, wiping out trillions in wealth and leaving investors scrambling. Rogers also argues that the market correction won't just impact stocks, it could trigger a broader economic downturn. With interest rates expected to rise and inflation still a concern, 
companies that have been propped up by cheap borrowing will face higher costs and tighter margins, potentially leading to bankruptcies and widespread layoffs. In other words, the fallout could be systemic, rippling through sectors like real estate, consumer goods, and even commodities. Rogers' concern is not just about stock prices falling, it's about the emotional impact on investors. During a market crash, fear takes over, and panic selling can cause the market to spiral downward even faster. For many, this could mean seeing their retirement savings or investment portfolios take a massive hit, especially if they're heavily invested in overvalued sectors. Next, let's talk about the ticking time bomb that is global debt. Countries all around the world, including the US, are drowning in debt. We've seen governments print more and more money, but eventually, that debt has to be paid. Jim Rogers is deeply concerned that this global debt crisis will lead to a massive economic collapse. Governments have been borrowing heavily to support growth and stimulus measures, but this unsustainable spending could trigger a series of defaults. That, in turn, could cause widespread panic in financial markets and lead to economic chaos on a global scale. Another major issue that Jim Rogers is closely watching is the potential for a global currency war. For decades, the US dollar has been the world's reserve currency, used in international trade, finance, and investment. It's been seen as a safe haven, a stable store of value during times of global uncertainty. But according to Rogers, this dominance is under threat and the consequences could be severe. He believes that the US dollar is likely to weaken in the coming years, largely due to the unprecedented levels of debt and money printing that have occurred in the wake of economic crises. The Federal Reserve's policies of quantitative easing and low interest rates have led to a flood of dollars into the global market, devaluing the currency. And as the U.S. continues to run large deficits, this problem only compounds. But the weakening of the dollar isn't just about domestic monetary policy, it's about global competition. As other countries face their own economic challenges, they too are likely to manipulate their currencies to stay competitive in the global market. We're already seeing signs of this in places like China, where currency manipulation has been a strategy for maintaining export advantages. Countries might engage in a race to the bottom, where they continuously devalue their currencies to make their exports cheaper, boosting economic growth at home. However, this devaluation creates instability and uncertainty across global markets. Imagine a scenario where multiple countries are all trying to devalue their currencies at the same time. It creates chaos, where the value of money fluctuates wildly, making it difficult for businesses to plan, for investors to protect their wealth, and for consumers to maintain purchasing power. A full-blown currency war could send shockwaves through the global economy, affecting trade, investments, and even geopolitical relations. Rogers warns that in such an environment, holding on to cash, especially US dollars, may not be the safe bet many people think it is. As inflation erodes the dollar's value, and other currencies fluctuate unpredictably, simply holding cash could lead to significant losses in purchasing power. He argues that diversification is more critical now than ever. Investors need to think beyond traditional assets like stocks or bonds and start looking at alternative investments that can hold value even when currencies are under pressure. Commodities like gold and silver are often considered safe havens in times of currency instability, and Rogers is a big advocate for these hard assets. But he also points to other options such as farmland, emerging market currencies, and even cryptocurrencies as potential ways to hedge against the uncertainty of a currency war. The key takeaway here is that the traditional reliance on the US dollar and cash may no longer offer the protection it once did. Rogers stresses the importance of diversifying your portfolio to include assets that aren't as vulnerable to the fluctuations of the currency markets. Whether it's through precious metals, commodities, or even unconventional investments, protecting your wealth in an era of currency manipulation requires a broader, more strategic approach. So, what do you think? Are we heading for a massive financial disaster? Do you agree with Jim Rogers that what's coming is worse than a recession? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're doing to prepare for the potential market crash. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and share it with others who need to hear this warning.